Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking. So if you're new here, please consider subscribing, liking, sharing and also commenting on my video. Today I have another interesting video and it's about some Arabian perfumes or fragrances that they use in their homes. It is so interesting how and why the Arabian people like using these uh, fragrances in their homes or rather perfumes in their homes and i thought like maybe i can do a video on it because it is very interesting bahur is the name of the fragrance it was used for thousands of years uh, this fragrance and it first originated with the arabia's nomadic levantine tribes who upon setting up a camp they will burn the agarwood chips to both fragrance the air or maybe deter the insects. I later learned that also the Babylonians used this incense while offering their prayers. They call it the incense, the praying incense. The incense also spread from there to Greece and Rome and other European countries as well. Bahur is an Arabic name given to scented bricks or a blend of natural tradition ingredients, mainly wood chips, that is the or the Arabic name for agarwood, soaked in fragrant oils and mixed with other natural ingredients that is resin, amber grains, musk, sandalwood, essential oils, and others. The benefits of Bahur is that it is capable of revealing those feelings of stress and anxiety, which is why it is so important as a household fragrance. So the next time you come back from home, I mean from work, feeling completely burnt out, use Bahur to inspire those feelings to calm you down. So in short, Bahur has that calming effect. Bahur is an irritant. For asthmatic people, the fumes can cause respiratory symptoms including asthma, headaches, and worsen symptoms for those who suffer from allergies. So, heavy exposure to bahur for long duration can cause permanent damage. That is, if it is burned regularly and in large amounts, it may, it may be bad for your health just like inhaling any type of smoke would be. The best way to keep this incense from decreasing the quality of the air in your home is to burn it as sparingly as possible. More recently, they're using the perfumes to scent their hairs and their clothes too, as the smoky nature of the burnt bahur enters fibers of fabric and hair very well. Religious use of the incense has its origins in antiquity. The burnt incense may be intended as a symbolic or sacrificial offering or to serve as an aid in prayer. The burning time varies by its form. For example, a stick of incense may last between maybe one hour to two hours. It depends. But when the incense is done burning, it will extinguish itself. So here I want to show you, I want to illustrate how this thing is done. All you need here is charcoal, you need the fire, you need the bahur itself. It comes in different forms, different types, different uh, scents, you know, and also you need the burner. And by the way, we have different kind of burners. We have the original uh, wooden burner, um, the ancient one, we also have the electric burner, we also have the normal charcoal burner. The burners are also different, they come in different sizes, they come in different shapes, they come in different designs. So now my charcoal is ready and I want to burn the incense or rather the bahor. The smoke releases some perfume, the, the smoke as you see it it has some very kind of some very sweet smell you know like if you put it in your home it will smell somehow fresh i can say somehow fresh you know like in our african homes we don't use such we are so much used to fresh air and everything but here in the arabic world is different so this is how it is done so thank you guys for watching thank you so much for clicking in if you haven't subscribed Please subscribe, 
like, share and comment. Leave your comment down below. Let me know what you think about Bahor or rather this incense. Would you like to have it in your home? Kindly leave your comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.